Mela and welcome to the Upgrade Adventures. We are out here in Berkeley, California at Berkeley Animal Care Services Shelter. This one is super dear to my heart because this is where I first started volunteering at. We are going to go meet up with Amelia. She is the manager here. We're going to talk about Berkeley Animal Care Services and how they run. And we're going to go hang out with some dogs. Let's go do it. here. Say hi Amelia. Hi. Can you give me a brief description of what type of shelter Berkeley Animal Care Services is and what different services they provide? Sure. We're part of the city of Berkeley so we shelter for Berkeley but also for three other cities for Albany, Emeryville, and Piedmont so four cities total. We're a public shelter so that means we're an open admission shelter. Anything that comes from those four cities, no matter what, it's our responsibility to take it and shelter it. Um, so we have sheltering, and then we also provide field services. We have animal control officers that go in the field seven days a week. Thank you. And they Bye. respond to just about anything you could dream up related to animals. Yes. Yeah. But also a lot of wildlife calls. And we're in an environment with the bay, so there are a lot of shorebirds. And sometimes they end up injured or stuck in places. So quite a variety of calls they respond to. Um, we obviously have a lot to do lost and found for people coming to look for their lost pets. We keep records of all that for everybody. We do lots of information and referral right here from the front desk. People call all day long with all kinds of questions. Yeah, I can only imagine. Yeah. The other thing we do is we do dog play groups. Okay. More and more shelters are doing that. There's a, a nonprofit called Dogs Play for Life that has gone around the country and trained staff and volunteers at public shelters like ours, they've, been, they've trained us, I think we've had four trainings over the last four years, on how to bring dogs together to actually have them play together. So you know, it could be for us anywhere from two to six dogs playing together, it's so great for them because it's the best kind of enrichment they can get. It's, it's far more rewarding than a, a leash walk for yeah, them. Yeah. Yeah? And, uh, and they're tired when they go back to their kennel, oh, so yeah. they're relaxed. Nice, that's great. Yeah, it's really good. Definitely. So two years ago, we did a study. Um, we DNA tested. Uh, it ended up being 46 of our dogs, just sort of a, a census of mm -hmm. the population was here. And the idea was to see what, what breed uh, they were um, okay. as identified by DNA. Yeah. And the study was going to be to see if we gave people breed information, DNA information, if it changed their perception of how adoptable the dog was. Yeah. So that was the original study, and we surveyed about 220 people. And we found that there was a small statistical okay. significance, not very big. But there were some really amazing unintended yeah. results that came out of that yeah. study. One of the things that we found out was that 80% of the dogs that come here are mixed breed. Yeah. Meaning that that at least 50% is, is mixed, mm -hmm. so they're multiple things. Most of them were many things. When dogs come here, we have to guess what breed they are so yeah. we can enter it in our database, and that's standard for most shelters. We were getting it right about 30% of the time. Oh, wow. Yeah, which is actually a little better than a national study that was done, where shelter professionals were getting it right about 25% of the time. Good for you so, guys. I know. So, but here's what we realized. We're, we're labeling breeds on kennels, and we're wrong most yeah. of the time. So why are we putting that up there? Yeah, so as true. people walk around, if you walk around, you'll see now on our kennels, the dog's breeds are breed labels that uh, reflect their personality. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so you may see that's a Berkeley awesome. Flatland Lap Setter. Nice, uh, <laughs> I love it, that's great. Right. Or a Tilden Trotter for some of our yes. hiking dogs. Wow, that's So cool. we've done away with standard breed labels. Nice, I love it, that's Me great. Me too. Awesome. I remember during one of the orientations, she was saying that this is a government funded shelter and so sometimes that the public kind of gets a misperception about that you guys are funded completely because the right. government funds you. Yeah. Can you give a little more information about that? Sure. Well, we're part of the city government of City of Berkeley, um, and we have a very, very tight budget. Um, you know, I think that's true for a lot of uh, municipal governments these days. Money is tight. Um, so it's, it's very tight. There isn't extra money, for example, when there are um, non-routine medical mm -hmm. needs. There really isn't extra money for that. So we depend on donations. We take donations, um, and that 
really that, that's a, a huge factor for us in being able to provide some extra medical stuff. There's also a, a Friends of Berkeley Animal Shelter that raises funds for medical needs too, and they're a huge help as well. That's awesome. I yeah. love it. So what are some of the things that the public could do that would help out Berkeley Animal Care Services? Well, donate. You could do, certainly donate money. That's mm -hmm. You know, goes yeah. to medical care, as I said. Um, we love to have donations of towels, mm -hmm. blankets, toys, dog and cat food, that, awesome. those kinds of things as well. Um, we not only use those things here, but we have a lot of homeless and low-income pet owners who come here for supplies. That's great. Yeah, on a daily basis. So people are coming in and getting dog and cat food almost every day. That's amazing. And that's all donated. Right, so if people donate to us, if we can use it, we will, but if not, it will go to good use. That's awesome, yeah, I yeah, love it's it. great. Yeah, and then how could someone volunteer here? What can they So, we have volunteer, volunteer orientations every month. Um, they oh, typically the orientations open up around the beginning of the month, there's a simple application process, and the volunteer program is very robust here. It's yeah. a huge part of, uh, of the operations. Yeah. I mean, all the dog walks are done <laughs> through volunteers and all the cat socializations too. Not to mention all the photographs that get taken. They're amazing. They're all up on the walls yeah. are great. I love it's, them. It's really great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for meeting with us today. My pleasure. It's been, it's been great hearing about everything and learning more about the shelter than even what I did when I was volunteering here. Well, thank you for volunteering yeah. too. Of course, I wish I could come back anytime. Thank you.